Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the concept of nested subqueries. So basically, we know the concept of queries. So a query inside one more query is nothing but a nested subquery. So one of the most powerful feature of SQL is nested subquery. So a nested query is a query that is that has another query embedded or enclosed within where class. So where we will be writing that particular query, you will be writing it in the where class. Okay, so the embedded query is called as subquery. So that query which you wrote newly in the where class will be your subquery. So a subquery can be sometimes appeared in the form of a clause or having clause also. So basically, if we take a small example, so this is a small example which I took, which I found it online as. So basically, write a SQL query to display the employee names who is taking the maximum salary. Fine. So we need to display the employee who is taking the maximum salary. So first we need to select the guy who is taking maximum salary. Then we, do, we need to display that guy's name. Fine. Okay. So first understand the subquery guys. Select maximum salary from employee. So now we got the maximum salary from the employee. So now select E name from EMP where E underscore salary equal to R maximum salary which we got. So this will be the result of the maximum salary of the person so mostly the answer will be i think raju fine okay so further moving on okay so initially one will be executed one is nothing but the inner subquery so initially the inner subquery will be executed then the result is used by the second query so we get the result fine okay so let us go through three more examples and we can wind this topic up so write a sql query to display the second highest salary from the employee table select maximum salary okay so here we need to write a query to display the second highest so first we need to select the first highest and without including this first find the highest then it is indirectly the second highest right so that is what we have done here so select maximum salary from emp which is not equals to select maximum salary of e salary from emp where e dot salary is not equals to the salary which we have got previously so indirectly we will be getting the second highest fine okay so write a query to display all the details of second highest salary from the employee table so instead of writing employee name you will be writing employee star sorry select star fine so i hope everyone got a clear idea on the concepts that we have discussed till now so let us go through one more query and we can just end this topic here so write a query to display all the department names along with the number of employees who are working in that department so select a department count star from emp group by department so here count star is used for counting the number of employees and we are grouping them with respect to the department number so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we will be going through the correlated nested queries so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching